Ma'am, we are live. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to this wonderful evening, which will definitely leave you mesmerized because today, what we are going to discuss about is something very, very important, very pertinent, very heart touching, very inspirational, and indeed very, very motivational. So I will not let you guess more. I will straight away come to what we are going to discuss. But before that, I would request everyone to please keep yourself on mute mode because uh, when we are discussing something which is very pertinent, it is indeed, indeed very necessary that we follow certain discipline. So the discipline that you need to follow today is keep yourself on mute mode so that we can really listen to our important speaker who is there with us today and who will definitely leave us as i told you mesmerized by the end of this session so what are we here for and why are we here for today today we are here because of the wonderful organization called positive thoughts now this positive thoughts family is a global community of super positive eminent speakers trainer coaches educationists consultants social activists and entrepreneurs from pan india and from more than 35 different countries and the person who is the invisible thread who has kept everyone together is none other than mr gaurav sharma who has provided us this platform today to present a different narrative in front of each one of you. The mission of this organization is to learn, connect, share, and bridge the gap between brands, organization, they are focused to work on the mission of empowerment for stress-free life and stress-free education. The elite executive community, community, community for this is the like-minded people who are positive and who are from across the globe. They believe in sharing, inspiring each other, helping each other. And also they believe that we have to be together for each other to empower each other. This is a platform that will work as a one-stop solution for all with the major attribute of hope and hope to bring the change hope to bring the major transformation in the society. So uh, my heartfelt gratitude to Positive Thoughts, Mr. Gaurav Sharma, for giving us the platform today to conduct the session two of Arabica Coffee Blooms. So each one of you, you are feel, feel free to sit with your coffee, enjoy uh, the fresh brew, but at the same time, do not forget that we have to follow certain rules when we are talking about the lively talk show. And as I told you, today's show is very, very important and pertinent because we have none other than Major General Vikram Dev Jogra amongst with us today. He's not just an eminent speaker. Um, most of you might know him. If you do not know him, please follow him on social media page because then you will understand that whatever he's talking today is not just, they are not just words. They are not just perspective or ideas. Those are the things that Major General lives by you have to follow him again i'm telling you no this is not the publicity bit but that is what we see because every day when you see a person who is the epitome of dedication and perseverance then you understand that each and every word that you will listen today is an example is a story is something which we say a legend in making so we have a legend amongst us today and sir rather than me giving your introduction i would like you to please tell us something about yourself because when it comes to you i think hurdles are something like you chose them and you over overcame all the hurdles and when we talk about our indian defense most of the people who are aware of our indian army we always say that we live by chance we love by choice and we kill by profession. So here we have Major General Vikram Dev Dogra who has served in our esteemed Indian Army. So I would like you to please tell us something more about yourself. Thank you so much, uh, Seema. It's a pleasure being here and uh, interacting with your audience and all of you. Well, uh, when you ask me to tell you about me, I think uh, I shall be brief because uh, I generally speak less. I was uh, commissioned into the Indian Army in 1981 from the Indian Military Academy, prior to which, of course, I had been in the NDA for three years. The IMA is a one-year course, 
and I was lucky to have passed out with a sort of honor and the gold medal from the IMA. Uh, the sort of honor is given to the best all-round gentleman cadet, and the gold medal is to the person who comes out first in the order of merit. Uh, thereafter, I went and joined an armored regiment, which is the most decorated armored regiment or regiment in the Indian Army, because uh, this regiment called the Puna Horse uh, has four Victoria Crosses. That is the equivalent of the Paramir Chakra, which was given when the British were here. And after independence, the regiment has two Paramir Chakra. Uh, the first one is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Tarapur, and the second is Lieutenant, second Lieutenant Arun Khetrapal. So when I joined this regiment, I had to work very hard to live up to the standards of this elite regiment. And uh, joining an armored regiment is uh, different than joining any other unit because you know nothing about a tank. Despite having trained for four years in the NDA and IMA, when I joined the regiment, I was the person who knew the least about what tanks are all about. So even the junior most person in the regiment knew more than me, and it was my job to start learning from them. And that was the main focus, to learn and to prove to people that you are worthy of being an officer and a leader whom they can trust and follow. And thereafter began my journey in the army and I served in the Indian army for over 37 years after that. And uh, I retired in 2019. My last appointment was in Delhi as the, the director general resettlement. And in this journey somewhere, when I was close to the end of my innings, I had this uh, sudden, you know, uh, urge to do the Iron Man. And for those who don't know what the Iron Man is, it's a triathlon. And it's the most grueling one day endurance event in the world. Uh, it has three events like a triathlon has. You need to swim 3.8 kilometers, which is in the sea. Uh, cycle 180 kilometers and thereafter do a full marathon of 42.2 kilometers. And you are supposed to do this within 17 hours, one after the other. And should you do it, you are titled Iron Man. So uh, when I wanted to do this, my biggest challenge was uh, training. Uh, my mind, training my body, finding the time. And, uh, but of course I trained for 18 months and I managed to do the Iron Man. So this is in short about me. Uh, I retired, like I said, in 2019. And now I am uh, not working, working. I uh, devote my time to myself and to the people uh, of this country to you know, try and give back whatever I can by uh, sharing with them whatever I may have learned in my long career. So I'm a motivational speaker. I am also the brand ambassador and the goodwill ambassador of the Coco Federation of India. Uh, I uh, am training for my next Ironman. I've done two of them already. So I'm training for the third. Unfortunately, the pandemic has delayed it. So hopefully next year, maybe 2022 that is, uh, we should be able to have that. And that's what I really do now. And we firmly believe that if you have decided that you want to do Ironman 3, there is nothing, no power in the world that can stop you. So we are looking forward for 2022 when you will get the third. I mean, it will be your third journey to Ironman. So Thank all you. I can say, sir, the journey, your journey itself is a reward. And you have ensured that you have worked towards it to make it a reward. So uh, when we listen to your uh, story about Iron Man, it is definitely a story of a lot of perseverance, a lot of hard work and dedication. It's not easy to swim for 3.8 kilometers, then you have 180 kilometer of cycling and then 42.2 kilometer of marathon. So what was that igniting force in your this entire journey that kept you going? What was that? What was that secret that told you, okay, that, that inner voice that said, yes, you can do it and you have to do it? I used a couple of uh, unconventional techniques to keep me motivated and keep me in the journey. And I'll share them with you. Uh, when I started my training, like I said, uh, I trained 18 months. And two, three weeks into my training, I realized that this is not going to be easy. Uh, it's going to be a long journey. It was tough. I had never run uh, 42 kilometers ever. I had never swum 3.8 kilometers. I never swum in the sea or in a lake for that matter. 
and all my swimming and training also was in a swimming pool. So there were a lot of these challenges which I knew are going to come my way. So uh, I thought that maybe a time might come when I want to quit. And therefore, to prevent myself from quitting, I took to social media. I did something called public pledging. So I went on to social media and announced that I'm going to do the Ironman. Now, when I did that, uh, everybody who read that post, of course, uh, had their own thoughts about it. Of course, on social media, nobody tells you, you know, that you're being stupid and you are mad or you'll never do it. They all are very nice to you and they are all very polite there. But I know from the reactions I got from people whom I spoke in person, uh, some of them smirked, some laughed, uh, some just, you know, smiled. And But I could tell from their smiles as to what they thought. And they all thought that I'm a fool, that I'm going to get a heart attack or... I was 58, and that if you go and do an Iron Man at this age, uh, you might die. And that's what a lot of people in my family also thought. Not my near family, not my inner circle, but people uh, in my extended family. So I had this challenge of first convincing myself, you know, with so much of uh, people around me who kept telling me you can't do it or you will not be able to do it. I also started having self-doubt. So I had to convince myself that I can do it. So that was the first battle which I fought. And once I was over that, then I said to keep myself in the system, if I now announce it, then my reputation, my name, my esteem is at stake. And if I quit, then, you know, there would be repercussions amongst all these people who would say, we told you, we can't do it. You know, badi badi baate karte so that kept me in the system. That prevented me from quitting. And I'll be honest, I wanted to quit every day when I trained. I cursed myself, uh, but I couldn't quit. And even on the day of the uh, event, 1st of July, 2018, I told my wife out there in Austria, I said, uh, I know everybody is watching and tracking me on the app. You know, there's an app where you can track the athletes. Uh, and I, I will die doing this event, but I will not quit. I will not quit and come back. So that was the kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, I got myself into this situation by public pledging that I was ready to die, then quit. The other issue or the other way I tried to keep myself in the system was that I linked doing Iron Man to my uh, esteem. So I, when you, when you link something difficult to a bigger purpose in life, then the whole uh, journey becomes easier to sustain or to endure. And I did this linkage. And therefore, every time I wanted to quit, I would think of the bigger purpose as to why I want to do the Iron Man. So such linkages, if you do, work very well. And uh, I also used a technique called visualization. You know, uh, since the journey is long, the training journey was very long and very depressing because, like I said, it was tiring. Uh, I used to start feeling low. You know, you were working so hard on it and uh, you find that there are no results. Uh, you are still not being able to run the 42 kilometers. You're not still being able to do the 3.8 kilometer swim. And you have to do all of them together. So I used to start visualizing how I would feel when I completed the event. I would visualize myself running down the red carpet and the announcer screaming my name and saying, Vikram, you're an Iron Man. And that would bring goosebumps. And it would help bring up my optimism and my morale. So these couple of techniques is what I try to use and they work well for me. Wow, when we talk about uh, these positive affirmation which were there for you, public pledging, visualization and linking it to bigger picture, I think that is what this generation or all our audience need to understand. How important is it to first get yourself prepared in your brain. And I think uh, Vikram sir will definitely agree that uh, everything is created or visualized first in our mind and our brain and then on the ground. And I have heard sir saying many of the times that first he has, I mean, practice in his brain and practiced and made himself so strong that whatever he is, I mean, it was like a game once played in the uh, brain and second and on the ground. Am I right, sir? Did you practice it that way? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I used to keep visualizing myself also doing the event. 
and though I had never, like I said, swam in that part or swam so much, but I practiced it and rehearsed it so often in my mind that when I was there on race day, it was like just one more practice, which I had done in my mind. Uh, there was no different feeling. There was no anxiety. There were no, uh, you know, cold feet like you get. It was nothing like that. It was just another rehearsal. And that can happen when you are actually going in for something difficult. If you rehearse it in your mind and visualize yourself again and again doing it and run yourself through that journey, then it is just another rehearsal when you go for the actual limit. That's really beautiful. That means don't limit your challenges, but challenge your limit. And that is what Sir has done. So moving ahead, uh, uh, do you think uh, your career, you are being in army, that was the motivational force for you to do Ironman? Somewhere down the line, do you feel your career was a linkage to your this big dream? Well, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, it was because of that, but not due to that. Uh, what happened to me was that, uh, like I said, I passed out with the Sword of Honor and the gold medal. I had four other medals that I passed out with when I left the academy. Uh, in my career, I did eight courses of instruction and I got an alpha grading in all of them. And I also stood number one on five of them. And I commanded my unit, an armored brigade, an infantry division. So I was really riding a very, very high wave. And I was so confident that I'm going to get promoted to the next. There's one more rank after Major General, that's a Lieutenant General. And I was just waiting to get promoted. Uh, but my name didn't come amongst those who was promoted, who were promoted. And that came as a big shock to me. I was not prepared for it. Uh, I couldn't have even imagined that my name wouldn't be there. And uh, later when I found out, I tried to find out why it happened, uh, I came to know there was some politics. Anyway, that aside, because my name didn't come there, I started feeling very low. I started feeling demoralized, uh, low on confidence, low on self-esteem. And from somebody who had actually led from the front all these uh, 37 years till then, it was that time about 36 years, I started withdrawing and becoming, uh, getting into a shell. I would avoid parties. I avoided meeting people as I was embarrassed. I started blaming myself. And I found that I was decaying and coming to a point uh, where I had to do something to get out of this. And I tried a lot of other things to distract myself. I tried uh, singing. I tried to learn to play the saxophone. I did uh, long distance cycling. You know, I cycled from Leh to Chandigarh over five of the highest passes. Uh, this was 2016. Uh, it all felt good when you're doing it, but a couple of weeks after this uh, cycling event was over, I was back to my uh, hibernation. I cycled in the northeast from uh, Bomdila over Sela Pass to Bumla, the Chinese border, which is at 15,400 feet. Nothing helped. Nothing of that helped. So uh, I started working out harder in the gym, and I realized that when I ran long and I tired my body, uh, the more my body hurt, the better my mind would feel. And that's when I realized that uh, maybe I'm trying to hurt myself and I'm punishing myself for whatever I blame myself for. And uh, then uh, because I wanted to get out of this uh, cycle I had got into, you know, this vicious cycle and getting sucked into depression, I came to the conclusion that I should do something big which will re help me regain my self-esteem. And so I started scanning around and I found this event called the Iron Man. And when I saw it was uh, so grueling and uh, it was such a challenge, I said, this is something, if I can do it, if I can do this, uh, then I will be out of whatever chaos I put myself into. And that's how I came out of the Iron Man. So it was not because the army, but because of what happened to me. And uh, the fault was mine. I, I did not prepare for failure. And if I had prepared for it, that one of the outcomes of what is going to happen in my board is that I might not get selected, then surely I wouldn't have gone into what I did. So that was the reason that I went into the argument. Although audience, I think this is one life lesson everybody has learned today. We need to learn from our failures. So these are such powerful words because what happens, we all tend to go down to depression and many of us are not able to overcome that. 
sir has given you the live example that yes you need to train yourself yes you need to punish yourself sometime you need to be hard at your own self but the end of the day then you have to see the bigger picture and go there chase for it dream about it and then rehearse it again and again and again and there is nothing that can stop you so sir if i'll have to tell about the, the journey that you have shared right now it is it is much like metamorphosis for me from the cocoon that you were going into you emerged as a beautiful butterfly and i think there is no color that you have not added in your dream so this is so very beautiful and so very powerful and i think this is one lesson everyone who is here in the zoom room right now or who is observing us live on facebook please understand there will be hurdles there will be many lows in our life but those lows are not going to stop us now in the beginning sir told us about a dream that in 2022 he is again planning to go for iron man and let's together visualize and sir you will portray that picture for all of us that it's iron man it's happening right now and you are ready to walk that red carpet and the entire cheer is it's an hat trick it's hat trick it's hat trick for uh, vikram dev dogra so i want everybody to visualize that and sir suppose imagine that you are going to reach at the last line wherein you will be the iron man for the third time what are the feelings what are the emotion what is there that you want to tell us well i'll be honest really there are no emotions at that time but uh, there's only a sense of uh, you know satisfaction that thank god it's over because uh, like i said i visualize it so much that uh, there is no scope for emotion then you want to get it over with and i think that's what the feeling will be khatam ho gaya now i get a breather as lovely because once it is over work hard party harder so it will be party harder time uh, anything sir that you feel was the biggest regret in your life or um, you wanted to do but still you are not able to achieve but yes you have not given up on that dream maybe some day that dream will also come uh, come true and that will be an inspirational story for us for us any regrets no i don't have any regret but i have a lot of dreams uh so the dreams are not regrets because i haven't tried and given up i have just not tried and one of my dreams uh, is to cycle around the world uh which uh, i'm working on and hopefully maybe a year or two down the line i can uh, get it to realize because that's a long it's a big one uh, cycling 22000 kilometers over five continents uh 10 odd months 11 months on a bike it's not it's not really an easy one but that's my dream and one more which is uh, probably easier to achieve is to do skydiving uh so hopefully these two dreams which i have balanced i should be able to uh, fulfill them definitely and we all know that again coming back to my same point if you have decided um i mean knowing you from last so many months and following you on your instagram or other post i know if you have decided there is nothing or no one that can stop you and that is the power of determination that we have seen and that is what the audience need to know that how important is it to pursue your dream because i think you really go after your dream and that is the beauty of dreaming so sir now when we try to club everything your journey your career your challenges your regret uh, suppose if you want the audience to know you by say something which is very very precise okay maybe two sentences or three sentences how do you want your audience to know you forever what are the words that you want to tell them i have never given it a thought so to quickly come up with something which the audience can know me for for life is i think uh, a long shot but uh if you were to ask me what i am uh, well i think uh, i am somebody who needs a challenge all the way and unless i have a challenge in front of me i'm not happy so challenge is one and the ch- reason for the challenge is because it helps me uh, focus my life uh, it helps me focus my day my next day and my and things which are uh, you know which are going to happen and that's exactly the reason why i went and did my second iron man it was not for anything else because i had already uh, proved to myself that i can do whatever i wanted to do but 3 months down the line after the first iron man i realized i have lost focus 
uh, I'm back to my comfort zone of getting back from work and, uh, you know, uh, watching television, socializing, uh, playing a game and things like that. So that is not what I was happy then because I was back to my comfort zone and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone again. So I enrolled for the second one. And uh, therefore, that's when I realized that I need a challenge all the while. So like now we are in a pandemic, there are no Ironman happening. I can't even go out for a run, we locked down. So I have taken up a challenge to do a plank of uh, 65 minutes. Uh, I am right now at 38 minutes. I'm working towards it. So hopefully next two months, I should be able to do 65 minutes. So if somebody wants to know what I am, I'm a guy who needs a challenge. And I'm a person who feels that once you have a challenge, then you have something to worth waking up for the next morning because you are going to do things to realize whatever challenge you have set for yourself. And I also believe hard work and consistency are two things which cannot be replaced by anything else. So if you have this cocktail of hard work and consistency, then things can happen. So that's what I think I am. So I think our audience is writing in the chat box that they can't do the plank for one minute, two minute or eight minutes. 65 minutes is like something unachievable for all of us. But definitely we have seen your videos of doing plank. You will definitely reach there and we will follow you. I think we need influencers like you so that we can follow and we can also extend our limit. Uh, there are many people writing in the chat box so we can really have a plank challenge very soon, motivated by you, sir, and we'll do that. So towards the end of this entire session, there is something that I uh, want you to please tell us to our audience, though I will call it as a pearls of wisdom but till now whatever you have shared I think that was indeed a lot of wisdom that we have achieved but still is there something some message some life mantra or 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 anything that you want to share with the audience so that they keep themselves motivated because your entire life journey all the ups all the downs everything but ultimately if we look up to you and if we say who Major General Vikram Dev Dogra is, and if I have to tell it, I'll say you are an epitome of positivity. You are the one who has never given up. You are the one who has never given up on his dreams till today. You still believe that there are different terrains that you want to go and you want to achieve that. So it's like woods are lovely, dark and deep, but you have promises to keep and miles to go before you sleep. And definitely you will go that miles. So what is there that you want to tell to our audience? I'd like to tell uh, people that it is very important that you dream. And when I meet people, I find that uh, there are a, a number of people who really don't even know what a dream is. Then there is a lot of people who don't know what to dream. They know what dreams are, but they don't have the uh, imagination to dream. And then there is a lot who know what they want to dream and what they dream for, but they don't have the guts to follow their dream. Because when you have to follow your dream, you need to make sacrifices. You, it is not how much effort you put in, but I would say it is how much you sacrifice. Because somewhere you have to give up to make up for that difficult dream which you may have set for yourself. So the first suggestion or advice is dream and dream big. Second, having done that, have self-confidence that you can realize your dream. And how can you realize your dream? Is by hard work and consistency, like I said earlier. Because in any event, event the outcome of the event, 70 to 80% of it depends upon your hard work. Whereas 20 to 30% of it depends upon your good luck. And that good luck factor is not in your control. And what is in your control is 70 to 80%. So do things that you can control and therefore you can control how much work you put in. So dream, self-confidence, put in your hard work and you will get what you want. That's beautiful. So if you want your dreams to become your destiny, follow the path that sir has given to you and trust me, 
consistency is the key do not give up that is what is needed do not give up this pandemic has taught us that okay we do not want to be positive when it comes to corona but we need to be positive we need to be positive so that there is no hurdle that we cannot overcome now there is this beautiful audience who is uh, continuously writing in the chat box i want to give them this opportunity to please share um, whatever they want to share or if they want to ask us something either they can write in the chat box or they can unmute themselves and please ask or share i think vaishali ji wants to ask something she is a biker and uh, she she goes so many places and uh, so many expedition she has done so vaishali ji do you want to ask something yes uh, good evening everyone oh, what a what a you know i'm just like happy and excited to know the dynamic person like major general vikram dogra sir sir i am really a great follower of yours Uh, through Instagram and Facebook, and really, I just inspire whatever you are doing. And best of uh, best of luck for your third Iron Man series, sir. I just want to know about the hard work, which turns into achieve your dreams. That you did it, and even the same way, lots of people from army or from like even I, I am very much motivated by Sima Ma'am also. because she is my inspiration and you are my mentor so i just want to know more about like how can you achieved whatever you dreamed for no give up nothing so a little like in one sentence so that i can share the same thing to my cadets that yes you only can do it without any without knowing that yes i cannot do that so let me break it up for you yes sir you have made a dream and the first step in that dream is to convince yourself that you can do it that is your self confidence okay once you have got the self confidence for it then this dream that you have obviously is a big dream and it can't happen in one hop you know it can't be that today you start and tomorrow you have realized your dream therefore you need to divide this dream into smaller goals and to each goal you must give a timeline so like you're a cyclist and say you have a dream that i want to cycle uh, you know a thousand kilometers in so much time whatever time is very difficult to do you set that time and then the way you train is that you first probably train for doing 200 kilometers and then maybe 400 kilometers so these are small goals that you set and you give timelines to it so you break your dream down thereafter you need to exert some positive pressure now i told you that uh, to keep myself in the system i use public pledging so that's one positive pressure that can you know keep you going uh, i use visualization uh, you can also use uh, positive pressure by having a peer system uh, be with a group of people who are all like minded who are focused and who have got similar dreams so the uh, kind of uh, pressure that is generated by being part of this group will also keep you going unlike if you are part of a group which is not really following any dreams they're not really interested in anything then there is no positive pressure coming for them from them to keep you in following your dream so you must have positive pressure next you must be prepared to get out of your comfort zone you know we are very happy doing what we are but nothing big can be achieved unless you step out of your comfort zone and in stepping out of this comfort zone you will have to do things which are not which you're not used to or which you're not good at and therefore for that you can try the 21 day rule that when you do something consecutively for 21 days it becomes a habit so people some people say we, we can't wake up early do it 21 days you will find 22nd day automatically you'll want to wake up early and the last point i want to share in this is be prepared for failure so at the end though it's the last point but when you're prepared for failure you will not have that setback which i spoke to you about when you fail in realizing your dream then it won't be that you fail and you are so disheartened that you give it up you will just step back you will introspect what went wrong you will try and find out where you could have put in more effort maybe you could have taken a different path and then recollect train again or prepare again and go for your dream 
so if you follow these five steps i think you will be able to realize your dream this is what you can tell your students and your cadets yeah thank you thank you very much sir definitely definitely even i will follow the same five rules and thank we'll you share so with that, the cadets that yes, was sir. really bang on and uh, definitely fail if we if we look at the full form of fail which is uh, there in google it says fail means first attempt in learning so what we need to do is we have to change the negative words with the positive one and there is nothing that can stop us so sir there is a beautiful question which has come in the chat box and uh, that i think we should take it because it is it's little diff diff different than what we were talking about so this beautiful lady here wants to know what is your diet plan and uh, some secret you can share about your diet so that uh, all the lovely ladies who are sitting here they can also get benefited with that well uh, diet is something which is very very individualistic now uh, and it will depend upon what your goal is what is your aim or what are you training for at that moment and even if you're not training for anything what are you trying to achieve so one is just called a healthy diet and when you do something like an endurance event then your diet changes uh, i will now talk of uh, since we were talking of the ironman i'll talk of what you should look at your diet uh, what you should look at in your diet now the main constituents are protein carbohydrates and vitamins so there everybody knows you must have vitamins whether you have them in the natural form through different kinds of vegetables and stuff like that or you can have them as supplements because uh, our food may not provide us that but vitamins is essential now as far as carbohydrates and protein is concerned uh, you have to really see how much of calorie consumption you are doing now let me tell you that a normal person without doing any work which uh, when i say not uh, any work any physical work when we follow our daily routine you consume something like 1600 to 1900 calories in a day and if you were to consume a similar amount you will not gain weight and you will not lose weight if you eat more than that you will gain weight if you eat less than that you lose weight so this is a simple formula now to this 1600 or let's take a ballpark figure of 1900 you have to add how much you are expending over and above your normal day to day routine so you're going for a 10 km run and say you're consuming 600 additional calories then you are consuming 2500 calories a day and that is what you need to take so this is how it works and you'll have to calculate how you consume this uh 2500 calories is where the tricky part lies any nutritionist can tell you whatever i've told you so far but no nutritionist will be able to tell you what will suit your system the best that you will only know through hit and trial uh therefore it takes about 2 to 3 months to really understand what food when you consume is settling well in your system you know it must digest well it must taste good it must meet your uh, palate requirements and it must give you the calories that you're looking for so we all know what food gives what calories that's a very very laundry list of things where you can calculate but whether you are fond of that food or not is a question and if you're not say say you're a vegetarian and you don't want to have the non veg stuff then you must find these calories out of the vegetarian options and out of the vegetarian options which are the ones that you like consuming because it's not a two day job or a month job it's going to happen over a long extended period maybe a lifetime next is regarding the proteins uh, a rough calculation if you are doing normal work normal workout uh, you must have 1.2 grams of protein per kg of body weight So, for example, let's take a person who's 60 kgs of weight. Then, 1.2 into 60 is 72. That's 72 grams of protein you must have in a day. If you are working out extensively, then it must be 1.7 into your body weight. So, for a 60 kg person, that will be 120 grams of uh, protein in a day. To give an idea of what these grams are. one egg is just 6 grams of protein and if you have only the egg white it's 3 grams so you can calculate if you have to have 120 grams of protein what all you should be consuming because this protein is what's going to help repair all the 
um, uh, you know, muscle tissue and other aspects in your body which get degenerated with whatever workout you do. So this is just a rough way to calculate. And for those who want to lose weight, you must have a calorie deficit. Deficit. You were consuming 1900 calories or say your body needed 1900 calories. You must consume only 1400. So a 500 uh, calorie deficit will make sure you lose weight without any telling effects on your body. You won't feel tired, you will not look haggard, but you will gradually lose weight. If you increase this deficit too much, to more than 500, you will lose weight faster, but then you will have effects like, you know, you start feeling exhausted and it'll show on your face. So this is a rough way how I calculated. It took me three months to work out the ideal diet for me. And of course, since I was doing an endurance event, I looked at certain things which are endurance friendly, like beetroot, uh, sweet potato, uh, coconut water, very high in potassium, uh, then uh, amla, uh, vitamin C. One amla gives you 600 gram uh, mg of vitamin C. So uh, things like that, when you add to your uh, diet, they help uh, give you the additional vitamins and nutrients that you need. Sir, I think very soon you will have the request from many audience that start making short videos on ideal diet plan because you have explained it so well. For, for a moment, I thought we are sitting in front of a nutritionist and nutritionist is telling us nicely what you are supposed to eat and what you are not supposed to eat and how to maintain the ideal weight. And those who want to lose weight, you can also follow one of the wonderful strategies that sir has given. Please go and do that public pledging and then see how beautifully you lose weight. So, sir, to end with, there is um, a question because uh, uh, it's written that though you have told us everything and every word that you have spoken about was a word of wisdom, but still any three takeaway that Nana ji wants to know, Nayan uh, Ranjan ji want to know that if any three takeaways that you can give for all of us. Any three takeaways? Yes. I think uh, the first takeaway which I'd like to share is that every battle that you fight has to be won twice. The first time it's in the mind and the second time it's on the ground. So when you want to do something which is a big, something like a dream which is so big that when you tell people they laugh at you, when you tell them about their dream, even you will have to convince yourself and that is the battle in the mind. And that once you win that battle, then only the second phase of it comes when you are going to work on that battle on the ground. So that's the first takeaway I would like to give you. The second, I think I've already repeated myself, and that's about hard work. I don't think I can overemphasize on it. But it is something that you will have to have to keep doing. And without that, you will not get anywhere in life. So hard work is the center of everything that you will achieve. And the third is, again, I've spoken about it, uh, self-confidence. You must maintain that confidence in yourself that I can do it. Because the moment you let go, it'll be the end of your dream. And that self-confidence, you can keep it up by the techniques which I shared with you earlier of maybe public pledging, maybe visualization, maybe being optimistic. Uh, you, might, you would have realized, uh, you know, when you watch a match, there are all these uh, top players. All of them have bad days. You know, cricketers have bad days, footballers. They all have a fall in their mind because they've had a bad day. But what is important is how quickly you bounce back. So you would have seen them talking to themselves. You know, they, they speak to themselves and this self-talk uh, like, I can do it, I will ace it, I am strong, I will not let go. Talk like that actually generates a lot of positivity. So to keep your self-confidence going, use this technique of self-talk. So these are the things I would like to, uh, three takeaways. Don't ask me more, I'm running out of takeaways. Yes, so I think I those were so wonderful. Yes, yes, Ravi ji, please, please. Yeah, yes. I have one question to sir. Actually, I was yes. watching him, and he is really great person. You know, <laughs> so I have one question to you, sir. Uh, 
uh, we want more people more army officers like you in future for our country i my question is that sir how we can inspire the small kids to join indian army more number of kids that is my question to you sir i i would like to tell you here that uh, it's good to inspire children to join say the armed forces to become doctors to become engineers inspiration is good but they must know what they are going in for because everybody is not cut out for every job and it's more so about the armed forces uh, you have to have a specific mindset to be able to feel that you have joined the right place and that is something that i think along with the inspiration we should uh, educate people that when you join the armed forces this is what you will be looking at there are good points about it and there are of course cons about it like every profession has pros and cons so whilst i would like to inspire everybody to join the army and that can be done very easily because you know children are very easily swayed by giving them stories of bravery and uh, you know um, um, all, all the finery and the uh, pomp and show the marching and stuff like that so you get very motivated but that's not what the army is army is not pomp and show and the glamour army is soldiering where somebody has to be in siachen minus 40 degree centigrade uh, fighting not only the cold but also the enemy you have to be in counter terrorism situations fighting terrorists out there you have to be in the desert you must know all that when you join so uh, inspiring people is not a difficult part but like i said people should be joining the army with their eyes open and not with their eyes shut so i have one question first of all a very thankful evening which you have given us and a very inspiring i want to know the secret of your vibrant energy which is really really inspiring and have inspired me too <laughs> i really don't have any secret for it maybe that's just me uh, i have no thought uh, but you know uh, some time back i actually came to the conclusion that uh, if you are sorry or you are always uh, feeling low or you are feeling upset or you know there are times when you just feeling grouchy it doesn't help because like they say when you laugh laugh in the world laughs with you and cry and you cry alone so you can be grouchy you can be you know sullen you can be feeling low you can be feeling sorry for yourself but nobody is bothered and it's only you so i realized that uh, sometime down the line and uh, not consciously but maybe over a period of time it just became i i try not to feel low i try not to feel uh, this thing so i use a technique when things go bad when things go wrong i see what is the worst case scenario and i'll give you something which happens with us most of the time you know you say you made an investment somewhere and you know that you have made a foolish investment now you are feeling bad about it all the while all the while so what what i do is i see okay what are the losses maximum loss so much minimum nothing at all so within the spectrum is my loss and if i can accept it then there's nothing to feel bad about so you accept so i think acceptance is a very good technique to get over a problem like the pandemic the moment you accept that we are in a pandemic and that in this pandemic i have to just stay indoor or i have to remain masked or i have to observe social distancing once you accept it then the battle in your mind is over and when the battle in your mind is over you're calm so i think that is a the kind of techniques i use and i they're working well for me and i think you couldn't have put it in more simplest way that will directly hit the audience and they will understand the crux of what you really wanted to convey i'm taking the last question now uh, i think dr madhvi bod se you are raising your hand so if you can please ask the question thank you so much uh, very good evening sir so actually i wanted to ask this question that uh, uh, how we should maintain ourselves financially relationship emotionally 
physically all together because somehow somewhere we all are successful in one thing but i believe two different thing we are failure so how to maintain all those things together and get successful some uh, you know because i believe it, at the end of the life uh, uh, we should be we should feel happy only that in that manner that we would feel like okay we were successful in all of this thing when it comes to finance or relationship or emotional or physical health well you know uh, you asked a very very uh, difficult question because if anybody can give you that answer then uh, life would be very simple so i think uh, the answer to your question would be that you will have to start prioritizing and of course whatever you said is important relationships physical uh, your financial um, your job everything is important but uh, there is no mantra by which you can get everything going you will have to see what is disturbing you the most and probably work on that first so if it is a relationship issue then you need to start focusing on your relationship and that becomes like in the army we say k r a key result area and in that key result area you will have to give devote maximum time and like i said when you are devoting time to something you will have to sacrifice something else it's a sacrifice which will matter so you will have to draw these priorities and work on them one by one and only if you are lucky uh, you will be a person who has got everything going for them and i don't uh, know how to become that because i don't think anybody in the world has everything going for them so uh, that's all i can share with you uh, I, i i don't have any other answer to your uh, very very intricate question so i think you have made the answer very simpler sir though the question was complex but the answer was so simple because again these are some ground rules that we have to follow to overcome any complexity in life and to all my audience i think each one of you will agree with me that this was such an awe inspiring session and as i told you in the beginning Hello. this session will left us mesmerized and uh, the fragrance of this session will be lingering on for days and months to come because whenever we we'll feel low this is a session which will again come in front of our eyes and uh, as uh, supriya said the kind of energy sir is vibrating and it is not just his words but i think entire screen came alive when he spoke about his journey when he spoke up about his determination and that is what is needed so sir we are really really very thankful to you for a wonderful session and i think it made us introspect it made us reflect and it was inspiring it was motivational and all the adjective that are still there and the line is too long when it comes to adjective to tell about what you have given us today that will take another session for that and i can see the beautiful adjective written on the chat box but the last point is you have left us with that note that yes come whatever might come in life never give up and sometimes listening to that is very easy but following that is very difficult but you have told us this thing by the example that you have lived by and that is something none of us will forget so thank you positive thoughts for giving us this platform and thank you sir for sharing this beautiful journey to end with because sir is from army and everybody cannot be in army but everybody is doing something for the nation these five lines are for everyone har koi ran mein lade ye asambhav si baat hai jo jahan hai वही रह के दे ही हमारी देशभक्ति का परम चरम सो थैंक यू एवरी वन इट वॉज रियली ग्रेट मे आई हैंड ओवर द एंटायर स्टेज विच इज द स्क्रीन टू पॉजिटिव थॉट्स टीम नाउ thank you so much uh, seema negi ma'am uh, and vikram dogra sir major Do uh, major vikram sir it's great to have you all here i was continuous and i'm literally mesmerized i am left with no words left with me now amazing amazing session i think lot of insight for lots of people here and first time i'm hearing in depth detail i had a very different uh, thought process for army people they are very strict they take everything to their strides and they are strong people 
here when Vikram sir spoke about it, it I just felt yes, they are something like us only, normal human beings. Yes, absolutely. And I'm amazed, and I've learned so many things, and I'm sure. all the audiences must have definitely picked up lots and lots of things not one like accepting yourself is the major thing which we all fall across usually we are not accepting ourselves and once you accept yourself you announce it to the world you are doing it you start working on it and there is no second thought about the hard work absolutely because lot of times nowadays we are hearing smart work smart work smart work so uh, after a very long time lot of in- emphasis has been given on hard work that's really really wonderful vikram sir great to hear you i think taaliyan to banti hain urdar banti hain thank you so much aapke 50 minute aap jante nahi ho aapne kya diya hai mujhe lagta hai audience jo yahan baithi hui hai jo aapke video sunne wale bhi hain because this video is definitely not going to stop here इट इज गोल्ड टू मोटिवेट लैक्स एंड लैक्स ऑफ पीपल हु जिसने भी ये एक बार वीडियो सुन लिया वो बहुत कुछ लेके जाएगा आपके लिए दैट पर्सन वुड बी द लकी एंड आई हैपन टू से दैट आई एम वन ऑफ दैट लकी पर्सन टूडे ऑल माई ऑडियंसेज आर सो नाउ ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ पॉजिटिव थॉट एंड बींग द को चेयर आई एम ईना सिंह एंड आई वुड आई एम नो बडी टू फेलिसिटेट टूडे आई एम फीलिंग सो small and as but then the process has to be followed and i need to do that and i would love to do that in fact that's not the right word it's my pleasure and i'm the chosen one by god i would say to really say thank you to major vikram dogra sir for giving such a wonderful wonderful session here but i will not show myself and let thank you so much sir for being here guiding the audience coming on the platform of positive thoughts and giving your most valuable precious time that is something which is nowadays we can get money we can get lot of things but getting someone's time and getting beautiful inputs life experience is something what is really appreciable and we cannot even thank you in just one, this forum it will always remain with us because you have given so much to not only us but to the audience as well so i'm really feeling privileged to be part of this positive thoughts thank you so much general vikram dogra sir thank you so much and not to forget dr seema negi ma'am thank you so much ma'am for taking the entire program in such a wonderful manner you just complimented the you attended all the audience also so well all the questions have been taken up beautiful i think with this i would like to thank all my audience who is on the zoom as well as the audience who is on the social media without them i think this program would not have been a success and all the audience who would be watching this program in the future as well with this i would like to say thank you to gorav sharma also for uh, making this platform a wonderful platform where all the elite community people are there who are discussing full thoughts and spreading positivity vibrance all around and yes i would also like to say that again we are meeting on 30th keep your calendar marked we are meeting 30 the board our first inauguration of our first training program and not to forget again next wednesday we are meeting again for our arabica coffee show next episode is there for us so thank you so much everybody and thank you so much sir for being here for being on this platform and we have our chairperson sanjeev kapoor sir also i would like to invite him lastly to say few words of appreciation for vikram sir and simanegi ma'am 
please be there sir yeah thank you very much i really really appreciate uh, and commendable talk given by vikram vikram i had a chance to meet you once upon a time uh, in uh, and uh, i must say that the each and every word of yours is so inspirational and i think it becomes a benchmark for the young people and the community and for the ages to follow and i must say i was having a one observation which i was trying to raise and but dr negi uh, was taking the question so i thought it is indecent on my part to ask uh, but you said you chase your dreams and you have your dreams but sometime what happens and i realize in life with over 33 34 years of an experience that sometime dejections take over the dreams so how do you react to it uh, vikram on this so like i said you know in the last point of the five points which i gave for uh, pursuing a dream right you must be prepared to fail all right. dreams don't come true and if you are prepared to fail then you will not be dejected of course you are upset that you didn't get your dream you feel very bad about it but you don't feel so bad that you will give it up uh, naturally sure. sure. there will be people who will give it up also but i would yes. feel most people if you are prepared for it can start reworking again for the dream yeah i think i think that is the difference what what uh, vikram you are telling and the people are taking that they chase their dreams and sometime in between if they have the dejections if they have the the uh, the uh, you know the contradictions or if they have the people who pull their leg if we can you know they they lose their dreams they say um i i may be fool i may be donkey to follow my dreams so i think uh, we must learn the lesson that follow your dreams whatever if may come even if a storm comes dream has to be chased dreams are meant to be chased mm -hmm. and meant to be realized i think with all those words i think it is a wonderful session ina you are doing a fabulous job dr negi you were fab gora you are fantastic i think all the best to you to keeping all the people all the good people on the platforms ravi ravi was also there he asked a very 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 relevant question that you know the how to inspire the people to be in the army i think that was a very very relevant and pertinent question which uh, he raised during the session and i think i feel very encouraged and charged up and I, and i must say that what a way to start the evening you know you know uh, before the session i thought let me let me prepare a tea along with along with the session but you know when i when i uh, hear first few line from vikram i switched off this uh, you know the 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 gas and come back and say that let me uh, let me hear it for the next 15 minutes so the session becomes so exciting that i am here for full full uh, 60 minute so i think that is the binding force which vikram and uh, dr negi has really really shown it is like a magnetic effect so i must say that the magnetic the magnetism of the entire force of the team has been shown and the binding force is uh, mr vikram so hats off to you jai hind salute and uh, let's meet on saturday and uh, next wednesday for the second session thank you very much thank you so much sadeep sir just correct a little this time we are meeting on sunday our inauguration okay, for the under yeah and from next week onwards it would be saturday and sunday okay. that's the only change yes okay. thank you that's so much one. once again before i close the session i would like to uh, invite gorav sharma also sir to say something everybody has spoken just a one line from your end uh, gorav sir sir aap sab ko mera haath jod ke namaskar and a very beautiful evening to all this is truly an amazing inspirational motivational and a session to remember for all of us definitely it is a session to remember for all of us first of all vikram sir thank you so much for accepting our invitation for this arabica coffee bloom and blessed us with your gracious presence you are truly an inspiration to millions starting with me and yes dr seema negi ma'am nobody can host this session better than you 
i am i am uh, i am very much uh, grateful to you it's been an indeed pleasure and honor for me ki i am creating a platform and you all are supporting me because i am trying to create this elite executive community where we can bring positivity all together right and uh, yes i am going to watch the recording again and again you are so much we will be meeting again on this coming sunday 30th of may 2021 with our first launching episode of thunderbolt a training session which will create thunder and wonders and the topic will be parenting in lockdown need of the time need of an hour we will be meeting again and from here onwards every wednesday we will be having arabica coffee bloom with a person with an inspiration like you and on every saturday and sunday we will be having training sessions with different different trainers we will be coming up with n number of training from every possible domain so that more and more people can be benefited that's all from my side ina ma'am thank you so much for your time thank you so much sir thank you so much with this i would uh, we are just coming to an end i would like and i would like to thank every one of the people here the lovely beautiful audience and our guest and our host dr seema negi ji uh, major vikram dev dogra sir thank you so much for being here bye bye see ya thank you all bye good night thank you